Good day everybody. Welcome back here to Reptilian Exotics YouTube channel. We're down here in our breeding facility. We're going to be doing something a little different today. Um, we're going to be going to the All Ohio Reptile Show here in Columbus, Ohio. I like to support, you know, local vendors and breeders. Um, I'm looking for a couple in particular things, a couple colubrids, um, and a male northern blue tongue skink a lot somewhere along the sunset line for our females i'll show you them girls here in a minute uh this here is a specter spark ball python female she is 1150 grams just something that is not fitting into our projects this this season so we're going to go ahead and let her go to our store to potentially be sold for somebody else's you know future pet or future breeder um let me go ahead and put her back i'm not sure what her price will be like i said she's pretty much a, almost a ready to produce female and also here is our orange red northern blue tongue skink i really suspect this to be female here is our hypo sunset really nice i love blue tongue skinks especially the northerns and then here's a polish line orange sunset this is my favorite I love this girl. Thought it was a male there for a while, but longer that I've had it, I would say female. That's why we're going to go look for a male here at the show. And uh, we'll see you guys there. All right, guys, here we are pulling up at the All Ohio Reptile Expo. Uh, it doesn't look too, too crowded. Uh, maybe, yeah, it does. Not a bad thing, just looking for a place to park here. My wife does the driving. This isn't even a long trip. It is for me. I barely get out of our breeding facility. All right, I'll show you guys some cool stuff inside. All right, guys, so we're here at the uh, show now. I was kind of excited to see this. This is one of our Asian water monitor babies that we wholesale to another vendor here. This is one of our captive born babies. I just really was excited to see how much he's grown. And it's awesome to see our captive born and bred Asian water monitors here for sale at the show from other vendors. All right, here we are with Wise Guys Reptiles. They got some really nice bull pythons here. Really good prices on some, some of the big ones that they have ready to go this year. Make sure to check them out. That's pretty cool. Mystic yellow belly sauce leopard. Never heard of it. Red striped Mojave. Again, check out Wise Guys Reptiles. All right. So here is my wife carrying some of our new purchases. We'll, we'll show them here in a minute when we get them all set up. Some really cool stuff in there. It's a pretty decent show. Here's our rat guy, Charles Cook. 
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the All Ohio Reptile Expo tour that we did. I'm back here at my store, Reptilian Exotics. I just want to show you guys some of our stock and also one of my awesome finds at the show that I picked up for the store. We have a Sonoran albino gopher snake. He is awesome. We also picked up this San Diego snow gopher snake. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of our inventory. Oh, hold on, last but not least, this was also something that we found at the show. A albino Honduran milk snake. And then here's some of our other inventory. We have a nice hypo boa, a female. Albino VPI T positive Motley. Looks like he got a new shed here for us. I'm going to pull this guy out. This was one of my personal snakes for a while. Um, really hard for me to get rid of him, but I don't have a VPI female. He's a 2019. Really like i said really beautiful snake i wish i had that vpi female but with him being already two years old to come across one that is ready to produce for you know to have a pair for him is just too hard for me to find right now so we're gonna go ahead and give you guys the opportunity to either have an awesome pet or if you have that vpi line female you will have some awesome babies to come this year for females of size. We are pretty fully stocked on Exoterra stuff. Some Zoo Med. We kind of stopped carrying so much Zoo Med. We're primarily Exoterra products. We have Enchi Ball Python. Mojave Spider, Pewter Spinner, it's an Orange Ghost Spider, it's a nice banana pastel. Lavender Albino Platinum Reticulated Python I produced this year. Got an Inchy Mohab in there hiding. Here's another one of my retics from this past season. Orange Glow Motley Possible Platinum. I'm pretty sure it is Platinum. Beautiful snake. Some of our boas. Really nice sharp purple sun glow. We have a pair of these, a male and a female. I produce these. There's the female up there. Here's a albino sharp from the same litter. We also have a pair of paraglows. Feisty. That's one of the that's the female. Here's the male. Feisty. I like them like that sometimes. It's alright, buddy. We still have our green bottle blue tarantula. That's probably my favorite tarantula species there is. There's one of my baby colubrids. 
baby corn snakes. It's my annery that is also amelanistic, shedding out. Great price on them. That's my last one. Citrus leatherback bearded dragon. Looks like he was chowing down on some sliced up collard greens. Here's a citrus hypo, ready to breed female. She looks small right here, but she is over 300 grams. Here's a proven breeder. Uh, just high quality normal, almost looks citrus, but not quite. Just a high quality normal, proven breeder. Here's one of my favorites, really hard for me to get rid of. Tiger Stripe Blue Bar. She is also over 300 grams, ready to breed this season. She is just awesome. Here's our world's first Hurricane Albino Tegu. This is a dark phase, one of our last ones available. That guy is awesome. Can't do a video in here without showing you Catfish Joe or South American Red Tail Catfish. Joe! Oh, he's crazy. We have a couple nice crested geckos in there for sale. I'm not even going to try to find them. <laughs> we did manage to get some large extra talls in stock. These are a privilege for us to have to be able to sell. They usually come in broken. I said we're pretty stocked up on stuff. Water bowls, hides, cork grounds, cork flats, lights. Uh, this is actually gonna be all set up for baby colubrids this upcoming season because we're gonna have a lot. We're gonna have row after row of them little eight by eight exoterras for our baby colubrids. My wife back here. Trying to get Ember out. She's right there. Ember! Hey girl! I was trying to get her up here on the ledge. There she is. Let's see. Ember! That's our breeder female. She is the mother of probably close to 100 water monitors at this point. We have two more clutches incubating right now. I just set this up. This is gonna be for a nice little surprise that I got coming for a display here in the store within the next couple of weeks whenever I can get around to doing it. We have some really nice leather back 100% Het Hypo, 100% Het Zero Bearded Dragons. Great price on them. We have some Leopard Geckos. A couple of them in here hiding. Here's some Blazing Blizzards that I produced. See them down there hiding. More of the Het Zeros. Also Het Hypo. Yep, and that's first store. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'll try my hardest to keep videos coming. Let you know if you guys want to comment of uh, stuff that I should do. Just you know, I'm all ears. So until next time. All right, guys. So one last little thing here. I just wanted to show Ember when she finally come out to say bye to me. I'm going to go home set up my new milk snakes that I got from the show. Ember. Hey girl. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you girl.